Rappers that played sports in high school. Often, when we think of rappers, we think of artists who have been obsessed with music since their earliest moments of their lives, and spent every waking moment toiling away at their craft. It's this dedication, we like to think, that allowed our favorite artists to hone their skills enough to make them famous. But the truth is that many rappers led relatively average lives before they blew up, and just like the rest of the world, shared a variety of interests, hobbies, and passions. But even a casual rap fan knows that one of rap's favorite pastimes to reference in songs is sports. Whether using a sport as a metaphor for the rap game or name-dropping famous athletes, rappers love to incorporate sports references into their music, so it should be no surprise to find that many rappers were once aspiring athletes themselves and played a sport throughout their time in high school. Before we get started, make sure to like this video and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Now here are 8 rappers that played sports in high school. Number 8. Jid Jid, one of the newer additions to J. Cole's Dreamville label, has always been open about the fact that rapping was not his first passion. In fact, before he even started rhyming at all, Jid was confident that he was going to make a name for himself as a member of the NFL. Jid, whose real name is Destin Rout, attended Stevenson High School in Stone Mountain, Georgia. While there, he played for the school's football team as a defensive back. The rapper had a natural knack for sports and received a scholarship to play Division I football at Hampton University. Jid stayed on the team for a total of three seasons before he was ultimately kicked out of school due to complications from a legal issue. With his collegiate career in the past, Jid moved in with Dr. Dot and Johnny Venus, the founding members of the rap gang Earth Gang, who encouraged him to start rapping. Jid reports that he spent 8 to 10 hours in front of a microphone a day, honing his style. Eventually, he had developed a project he was proud of, and it found its way to J. Cole with the help of the Earth Gang boys. The rest is history. Number 7. J. Cole J. Cole has always prided himself on being the rap game underdog, and though he's now a superstar on the same level as other titans like Drake and Kendrick Lamar, for a while this was true. Cole forced his way into Jay-Z's conscious and even once signed to Hobbs' Rock Nation label. This debut album was shelved, forcing him to leak the mixtape Friday Night Lights, which gained him massive mainstream attention. Cole's high school basketball career is surprisingly similar to his come up as a rapper. Cole started playing ball at a young age, believing himself to be quite talented, but was devastated when he was cut from the basketball team his freshman year at Terry Sanford High School in Fayetteville, North Carolina. Doubling down on his practice, Cole was equally surprised to find that he had been cut his sophomore year as well. Instead, Cole acted as the team manager, practicing with players after games and team practices. Cole finally made the team his junior year, but didn't find his footing until his senior year. Though Cole claims that by senior year he was good enough to play on a Division I team, he ultimately accepted an academic scholarship to St. John's University in New York to be closer to the music scene. As we know now, that choice was a slam dunk. Number 6. Rick Ross Rick Ross has a host of personas. Mob boss, correction officer, and football player? Before Ross started rapping or spent 18 months as a correctional officer at South Florida Reception Center, he was actually a very accomplished football player, attending Miami Carroll City Senior High School from 1990 to 1993. Ross played as a starting offensive lineman for the team. To this day, he is fondly remembered by coach Walt Frazier, who said he was a good kid with a great personality. Ross was talented enough that he was recruited to play football for Albany State University and even granted a scholarship for his athletic ability. However, Ross quickly realized that college was not the environment for him, and he dropped out after attending the university for just over a year. It was at this point in 1995 that Ross found a job as a correctional officer, where he worked for 18 months before leaving to finally dedicate his time to rap music. It seems like one way or another, we would have known Rick Ross's name. If it wasn't as the gravelly-voiced Don we know today, it might have been because his last name was plastered on the back of an NFL jersey. Number 5. 2 Chains There's a couple of things that almost everyone knows about 2 Chains. He has a knack for expensive and luxurious items, his rap name wasn't always 2 Chains, and he's really tall. Standing at an impressive 6 foot 5, 2 Chains looks less like a rapper and more like a basketball player. And that's because he actually was a basketball player back in the day. Back when 2 Chains was known by his government name, Tahit Epps, he was a player on the North Clayton High School basketball team in College Park, Georgia. A quick Google search will reveal there's actually even some surviving footage of 2 Chains playing for a 
Rapper's high school team, and he was very, very good. The rapper's height and natural talent earned him a scholarship to Alabama State University, where he played on the basketball team for two seasons. Unfortunately, 2 Chains never finished his basketball career. After getting into some trouble, he temporarily transferred to Virginia State University. After a year, he transferred back to Alabama and finished his degree, but did not rejoin the basketball team. 2 Chains is quick to dispel the popular rumor that he finished school with a 4.0 GPA, saying that though it's untrue, he graduated and received his degree, which is all he truly cared about. Number 4. Wale Wale's tracks are littered with sports references, which is why he's probably one of the least surprising entries on this list. Wale's love for sports is so well known, in fact, that there has been a long-standing rumor that he has a hidden tattoo of the Washington Redskins tight end Chris Cooley. Wale attended Quince Orchard High School in Gaithersburg, Maryland, where he played football throughout his time there. The rapper was talented enough that he received an athletic scholarship to Robert Morris University. However, Wale found himself to be unhappy in college and bounced around several universities, first transferring to Virginia State University and then to Bowie State University. Before long, Wale dropped out of college altogether, citing academic performance issues, and left his football career behind. It turned out well for him, though, because shortly after he began to gain some traction musically, with his first officially recorded track finding radio play, and a 2006 feature in the legendary unsigned hype column of The Source. Within just two years, Wale would find himself signed to Interscope Records after an intense bidding war from other various major labels including Def Jam and Atlantic Records. Number 3. Quavo Quavo has caught the attention of the internet several times for being surprisingly good at sports. Most famously, a 2017 clip of the rapper playing a game of knockout against Offset, Chance the Rapper, and Miles Turner surfaced on Twitter and revealed Quavo has some serious hand-eye coordination. In fact, Quavo performed well enough that Twitter started a rather in-depth discussion of who performed better in the knockout game, Quavo or Miles Turner, a professional basketball player. But this was no surprise to some people. It was quickly revealed that in high school, Quavo was known not only for his musical inclinations, but also for his athletic prowess. In fact, he actually held some records as a high school quarterback. Playing a starting quarterback for Burkmar High School, Quavo was known for being tall and lanky, traits that made him slippery and hard to catch. While on the team, the rapper actually led his county in passing yards and set several records for game completions. Quavo's former coach John Thompson says that while the rapper probably wasn't good enough to go pro full-time, it was his competitive nature and intense dedication that makes it unsurprising that he's found success as a musician. Number 2. Schoolboy Q Schoolboy Q's music has revealed much about his turbulent past, including the fact that Q joined the subset of the Crypt gang known as the 52 Hover Crips at a mere 12 years old. While a member of the Crips, Q was also beginning to formulate his identity as a musical artist, but what most people don't know is that football also played a major role in Q's life, and the rapper played the sport from roughly 6 years old until he was 21. After playing the sport in Crenshaw High School in Los Angeles, Q bounced around a couple of universities, starting at Glendale Community College, before moving to Los Angeles City College, and then Los Angeles Southwest College, and finally West Los Angeles College. It was at West Los Angeles College that Q settled into his role as a footballer and played for the West Los Angeles Oilers. However, Q quickly realized that sports were not for him, instead turning to music. He would later say that music was the most effective way he found to release his aggression, being even more effective than a contact sport. At 21, Q shifted his focus away from sports and towards music full-time, and it was then that he began began to build a network with Top Dog Entertainment Studios, the label which would later go on to sign him and launch his career. Number 1. Kanye West Kanye West is a surprising addition to this list, but the story of his high school basketball career plays out in the most Kanye way imaginable. Kanye grew up in Oaklawn, Illinois, where he attended Polaris High School, and though West had always displayed a love for art at a young age, at 14 years old, West quickly became enamored with the idea of being an athlete. He tried out for the basketball team, earning a spot on the roster as a bench player. Ye's all-star dreams were quickly dashed, though, as he reportedly was never picked to play during a single basketball game of the entire season. The experience was apparently enough to dissuade West from sports altogether, and he left the team to instead focus on music. 
This turned out to be one of the single most influential moments for hip hop. It was later that year that West would receive his first sampler, begin to make beats, and form a friendship with the producer No ID. It's crazy to think that if Kanye West had been a little bit better at basketball, or the other players at Polaris High School were a little worse, Kanye's entire life focus could have been shifted, and the rap game would have entirely missed out on the influence Ye brought. I'm not gonna lie, I was surprised when I found out Rick Ross used to be athletic. Was anyone on this list surprising to you? Let me know in the comments section, and before you leave, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.